And it also, I left and I was like, I was like, I kind of want to go home and try a trick. And I was like, mm, I got shamed really fast. Like my pride got hurt real fast oh, when I tried to get back into it. Did, did you feel underpaid? Or, I mean, isn't there kind of a, a thing with NFL cheerleaders that they're not well paid and they're not, they're overworked and... Mm. Is that is that a misnomer? You know what? I think that and you're. I'm not trying to put you on yeah, the spot. Yeah, I think but. you're going to find a different answer with who you talk to. For okay. me, I felt like it was an incredible opportunity with an organization that you know, Chiefs cheerleaders are their own organization. Right. That's yeah. a separate entity within within the chief yeah. within the Chiefs process. And the opportunities that we had and the job that we did was so specific to us. And I in no way. Feel like yeah. there was anything and, and not I, given to it me. Seems like that the Chiefs cheerleaders are less sexualized than some of the cheerleaders throughout this, the NFL. Oh, too. that's and that is, I mean, sure. that is definitely part Tavia and the Hunt family, yeah. and that is not going to be part of the culture. I love the, it. The, the love cheerleaders, it. Well, yeah. I, I, I saw Mark, Mark Donovan last night, and I was like, the Chiefs are just so incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's cool. Mark's so you had this yeah. great experience, um, to, and it ties back to your memories of your dad. Yeah. 